First thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the power off. Then we're going to take the wire connecting directly to the flame sensor and we're going to pull it off. We're going to take our probes on our multimeter. We're going to connect one directly to the flame sensor and the other one to the wire we just removed. Now on my multimeter, I'm going to set it to microamps. This is a little U with a capital A. Now once we're in microamps, we're going to set it to DC voltage. Turn the power back on and let our furnace fire up. So we're reading about 2.6, 2.7 microamps on this furnace, and that's pretty good. Anything about two to six is okay. Sometimes the furnace fires up and it stays lit. Sometimes it fires up and it keeps going out. If you perform this test and you're seeing about one to two microamp reading, sometimes cleaning that flame sensor can get that signal strength back up again and the furnace will run fine. If you're reading below one microamp, the odds are pretty good that that flame sensor is just done and it needs to be replaced even after you thoroughly clean everything through.